These are the DM Solar 145 watt solar panels. They come in a two pack. Uh, this is what it looks like unpacked. And they're, they're about oh, five feet by a little under two feet. You, but when you buy them, you pretty much can only buy them either by the pallet or in these two packs, uh, either direct from the company or through Amazon.com. Now, what I'm going to show in the description on the link in the video is a link to somebody's web store where you could buy these. And you can do us a favor of buying them through uh, uh, the web store and it helps sponsor one of the situations we're helping put together a little bit. So, uh, the way these things are going to come shipped, you can see in relation to the size of this couch, uh, you know, what, what size boxes you're dealing with. Uh, pretty heavy duty crate, crating, and it's an inner box, outer box type arrangement. And, uh, and so you see how the outer box works, got a lot of extra padding. If you're having to haul these in a truck like I do to a final location, what I usually do is I just take the outer box out and I take it to recycle and that's that. That leaves me the inner box. Uh, packed in between the two panels is also going to be a couple of cables. It's basically two into one connectors. Um, uh, the the uh, parallel cables for hooking these up. They're going to come with the, uh, the, uh, the the parallel cables included only when these are bought by the by the pair. If you start getting pallets, you don't always get those. But you'll get a lower price on the panels. Here in the back, it's a pretty standard transit, uh, pretty standard box on these things. Good heavy duty construction. Um, the, roughly, your your amperage rating is between 775 and 8.37. So I. When I calculate these out to go with a charge controller, I just, I figure 8 amps. And remember that when solar panels are brand new, they tend to push a little bit more than what the label says. So remember that when you're scaling your system to your charge controllers. You want to be able to scale these up a little bit. Um, you know, so right here with three 145 watt panels, and I'll show a different uh, optimized system. We're we're going to be at roughly uh, uh, 435 watts worth of power, and we we really don't want to. Even though a charge controller might say it's capable of doing uh, 500 watts and and 30 amps, we we really want to call that. 24 amps and 435 watts of power it for a 500 watt charge controller because when the when the panels are brand new they do overcharge a little bit and that's why you can pop a charge controller uh, you can pop the circuits in a charge controller when you're using it in bright sunlight with brand new panels if you have not scaled that charge controller to be a little bit stronger than you know what some of your ratings and specifications say but these are the DM Solar uh, 145 watt solar panels. You'll see a link in the video, although it's not going to go up right away. So you might want to look in the video description and see if the link is there yet. Uh, if not, uh, you want to uh, I can show you where to get the best deals on these. It's basically 350 bucks for a pair of them if you're willing to go mail order and wait. Now I will explain one other thing. If you want the convenience of buying just one panel at a time or buying a turnkey ready to go system let's say with all of the cables where you just kind of snap everything together and go you want to look at local guys on that and if you're looking for a decent little survivalist entrepreneur type of business it's not hard to have some of these in stock and uh, build the kits and and do a local installation let's say in tiny houses or something like that and I'm going to show another little series of videos that's going to be attached to the uh, playlist for the, uh, the off-grids of solar generators and basic solar generators. We're going to show how a good basic set of three of these can engineer into a, a decent middle-of-the-road, okay usable off-grid power system that's actually about equal to being plugged in to shore power at an RV park.